let me say this, bro. I know it. I know it. I know you is. But let me say this to you. Fine. How y'all feel about the heat of mine? How we feel about them? Yeah. I mean, we don't feel about it. Same white man word. The same word. Now y'all ready to beat me and this man. Ain't nobody going to hurt you. Nobody going to hurt you. Ain't nobody going to hurt you. Ain't nobody going to hurt you. You God. He God. They God. We all God. The creator made us. Hey, the Bible say we are God. That's what you say. So you agree with you agree with your God killing 42 children, sending two bears to kill 42 children because he called a man ball here. You agree with that? Yeah. You agree? Yeah. I want you to listen to this. The Israelites took the story of two cups. You about to, you about to lose me. You about to lose me. But I want you to listen to this. I want you to listen to this. One second. One second. The book. I'm gonna let you talk. When I read this scripture, listen, listen, listen. listen. When I read, when I, when, when I read the scripture, I'm gonna, I'm gonna explain it to you. Cause you're not listening. You're not listening. I'm gonna read this scripture, then I'm gonna let you talk. Is that fine? All right. Come on. The book of Exodus, chapter 11, verse 7. Bring it out. But against any of the children of Israel shall not a dog move his tongue against man or beast, that ye may know how that the Lord doth put a difference between the Egyptians and Israel. He put a difference. Who was Moses? Moses was an uh, Israelite from the tribe of Levi. That's right. According, oh, to, the Bible. Who According to the Bible. Who taught Moses? According to the Bible. According to the Bible, who taught Moses? Read this again. No, you're not, you're who not taught listening. Moses? Where did Moses get his teaching from? Where did Moses learn everything that he taught the Israelites from? You, he you, learned you're not listening. You're not listening. Because you know why? You know why? You know why? You know why? All of his life came from the Pharaoh. Hey, let me ask you a question. Who taught the Pharaoh? Bring it up. Who taught the Pharaoh? Give me Psalm 105 verse 23. Who taught the Pharaoh? Bring it up. The Anunnaki. Now, who was it? Who was it? Who was it? The, the During the time of Moses, who was in rulership? Who was in rulership? What dynasty were they in? They was in the 18th dynasty. They was in the 18th dynasty. Who was ruling then? Oh. Ramsey II. I'll help you out. Now, watch this. Read. Psalms 105 23. The book of Psalms, chapter 105, verse 23. It's can read verse 20. Matter of fact, read 17 and skip down to 22. Watch it. The book of Psalms, chapter 105, verse 17. He sent a man before them, even Joseph, who was sold for a servant. So you heard of Joseph, right? The, the Pharaoh changed his name to what? Zophnath Paneah. He became the viceroy, the second in command of the Pharaoh. You understand? Now skip down to 22. Verse 22. To bind his princes at, at his pleasure. Come on. And teach his senators wisdom. Hold on, what did Joseph teach the pharaohs? And teach his senators wisdom. Yeah, he said he taught his senators wisdom. Because if you understand, there was a famine going on in Egypt at that time. Who taught them how to save their food for seven years? Joseph taught them that. Yes. When you go to the, I say one more thing. When you go to the Egyptian tomb, when you you've been to Egypt, have you been to Egypt? Have you been to Egypt? Have you been to Egypt? Have you been to Egypt, bro? No, but I studied. Now I want you to ask you a question. You've been to Egypt, but have you studied the hieroglyphs? Yeah. You saw the pharaohs, right? The ancient pharaohs, the great men of the past. They had black slaves. Who were those slaves? They were black. Who, I know, but who were their slaves? I mean, no, no, answer my question. Answer my question. Who was their slaves? Let me ask you. You ain't answering. You trying to teach this, bro. This bro ain't listening to you. I see this. This is how you know this the devil right here. Let me say this. Let me say this, bro. I know it. I know it. I know you is. But let me say this to you. Because I know you ain't trying to hear nothing. I'm God. No, you're not God, bro. You ain't God. But where you live at? Where I live at? I live with them. What's your last name? My last name. My name is Man. What? I'm a man. You a man. What's your last name? My last name is Man. My only name is Man. Your owner's name was Man? Only. Name. Your only name is Man. So, your name, so, who your, so on your driver's license, what does it say your name is? Driver's license? I don't 
Why this brother here bugged out? Read that again. Let me get to y'all. Go ahead. You bugged out. You trying to tell me something about nationality. To buy his presence as his pleasure and teach his senator's wisdom. You see that? Joseph, the Bible says Joseph taught the citizens of Pharaoh's wisdom. You understand that? Our forefather Joseph ruled Egypt during that time. I come forth by day. Some people call Michael, the book of the day. Hey, my brother, I want you to listen up, all right? All right. You know what I'm Give me Micah chapter, chapter 3, verse 8. The Bible was even written before right. Moses learned hey, from what's them. What's your name? Hey, Adam, 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 You ran Adam, out. Hey, do me a favor. You ran out. Hey, do me a favor. You ran for war because you, know, you were scared. You see, you see what's going scared. on? We can't even dialogue. You're right, we can't even dialogue. So won't you, you say, won't you do me a favor? 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 You see that street right there? You see that street right there? Go down there and teach somebody that brought that you're talking about. Go down there and teach somebody that brought that you're talking about. Go down there. Hey, hey, uh, J.D. Hey, check this out. Read this. The book of Micah, chapter 3, verse 8. But truly, I am full of power. Are you listening? Are you listening? I want you to check it out. Well Come on. Said, but to truly, I am full of power. You, you hear that? The you hear white that? people gave You heard that? It says, but truly, I am full of power. By the spirit of the they Lord, Come on. and of judgment, sure. and of might. And of judgment, and of might. He said, truly, I am full of power, and of judgment, and of might. Can you hear me? came out the book of the dead, bro. Go do some research. You heard me? Don't listen to no Jay, man. Are you paying attention? The truth lives within he you. He said that the, he the truth truly lives within you. The truth lives within you. Certainly declare unto Jacob. If that you don't want to make your face, you can ask him to move out your face. And you can politely ask him to move. The word of the creator be the truth, you know. You hear me? Right. I've been teaching this. Ain't the bro? Right. The word of the creator be the truth. You know. You hear me? I've been teaching this. Ain't the bro? I teach this every fucking so day. So my question is, is, do you want to listen to him right now or us? If you want to listen to him, y'all can go on over there and no, step out of our no, face. No, Thank no, you, my brother. No, no, Thank, no. You. Thank you. Go with him. Go with him. Go with him. All right, come on. Because a lot of people, look, I, I hear all this Egyptian crap all the time. What brothers say, we say, uh, they say, where, where does Israel come from? They say ISIS rise in air, right? But the name before it was Israel was Yashallah, right? So how do you get ISIS, Ryan, El, Al, and Yasha out? Right. You don't. Bring it out. I'll let you know, people don't know what the hell they talking That's about. Right. Right. When we talk about ISIS, ISIS was a woman, right? The Israelites didn't worship women. The Egyptians worship women. Right. Right. Give me a... Um, Okay. 11 and 1. Yeah. Uh, we don't, we don't, don't worship, worship women man. according to no the scriptures, man. right? According to the scriptures, we don't worship women, right? No I know you know, but the Egyptians worship the women. We don't worship right. women according to the Bible, right? And then it says, nah, you don't want to. Uh, a female is God. You understand? A female is the creator. Ain't no man who came from the The female ain't no creator. Because our kids are in us right now. Yeah. Right. We showed our seeds into the women. Right. right. That's that, that's, that's that Egyptian hocus pocus. Right there. Read that. The book of First Corinthians, chapter 11, verse 3. Right. But I would have you know that the head of every man is Christ. And the head of the woman is the man. And the head of the woman is the man. That's Real right. men don't worship ISIS. Right. Real men don't worship ISIS. Right? Take, take right? But the back. Egyptians worship take, ISIS take because work. they let their the women rule over them. them. Right. But real men of the Most High don't yeah. worship yeah. their yeah. women yeah. and don't let that women yeah. rule over them. That's right. Say it out. He would have come from ISIS, Ryan L. So guess what? ISIS was a, a woman guy. Exactly. We don't worship women. That's right. right. Let's go to Ra. Ra was the sun guy, He's right? Sun go to Deuteronomy God. chapter 4, verse 19. Yeah. And let you know that the Bible and what they worship is two different things. Right. We don't worship no damn sun. Right. Right. The Egyptians worship the sun. You the Egyptians worship the sun. The heathens worship the sun. But we don't worship the sun. Read that. Look up Deuteronomy chapter 4 verse 19. Unless thou lift up thine eyes. Like the Egyptians did, they looked up their eyes like the heathens did because they don't have a real God. That's right. Unto heaven. Go ahead. And when thou seest the sun. They saw what? And the, when thou seest the sun. They would see the sun and they would worship the sun. Read. And the moon. Go ahead. And the stars. Read. Even all the hosts of heaven. Go ahead. Should it be driven to worship them. Go ahead. And serve them. Which the Lord thy God. God had divided to all nations under the whole heaven. 
So guess what? The other nations, they worship Ra. They worship the sun. Right. But the Israelites, we didn't do that thing. Right. So right. to say that Israel comes from Isis, Ra, and El is retarded. Right. It is right. what it is. Right. There's no wisdom in that. There's no knowledge in that. Right. There's no knowledge in that. Right. So the we got to bring this truth to our people and let them know. Right. There's a difference between the Egyptians and the Israelites. Give me that 11 and 7. We ain't the same people. If you were Egyptian, then your people sold our people. If you were Egyptian, then your people sold our people into slavery. Even a white man will tell you it's a difference between them. Read that. The book of Exodus chapter 11, verse 7. But against any of Prove that. Prove that. Prove that. Prove it. Prove it. Prove it. Prove it. The scriptures say prove all things. Prove it. Read. But against any of the children of Israel shall not a dog move his tongue. According to the Bible, the Egyptians are dogs. Right. Any other right. nations outside of Israel, they dogs. Right. Hey. Right. Against, against man. That's why, that's why in a lot of their Bibles, and that's why in the Quran and stuff, it's a cow. They worship that kind of stuff. Read. But against any of the children of Israel shall not a dog move his tongue against man or beast that ye may know how that the Lord doth put a difference. So the Lord put a difference between who? The children, the, the, between the Egyptians and Israel. So it's a difference between the Egyptians and Israel. Right. Right? What's the question though, brother? We got a question. Do y'all follow everything in that He's scoffing. Yes, he'll scoff. Sure. Positive. How y'all feel about the Edomites? How we feel about them? I mean, we don't feel about them. We feel, we feel, I feel about the Edomites the same way I feel about the Egyptians, the same way I feel about the parasites, all the other nations. I feel the same. What you mean? No, I don't hate them. The scriptures say that we should be peaceful among all men. That's right. That's right. what the Bible says. Right. Right. So what you, I know what you're trying to say. You want me to say I hate them and then you're going to say the Bible says, uh, uh, don't afford to eat them out. Right. 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 We done heard all this before, brother. You're trying to make me say, uh, why you going to say he hate the white man? And then the Bible going to say he love the white man. But then the Bible say that Esau broke the brotherly covenant. Right. Right. So that, what they said before, is done away. With, right? That's right. Jesus took That's what the Bible say, right? right. You're going to ask me right. about the Bible, but I'm going to go to the Bible and tell you what it says. Right. 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 The same white man word. The same white man word. The same word. Now y'all ready to beat me and this man. Ain't nobody going to beat nobody. Nobody going to hurt you. Ain't 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 nobody the book of Ecclesiastes, chapter 12, Boy, verse 13. Right. Right. For this, let us hear the conclusion of the whole matter. So everything we say, this is the, the basis Hi. of what we stand on right here. Read. Fear God Go and keep his commandments. So our thing is we want to t teach our people to fear the judgments of God and to keep the commandments of God, right? That's the reason why our community is out of order, right? right? That's why we got to worry about people breaking in our house, right? right? No, the scripture says thou shalt not steal, house, right? No, That's keep, why we got to worry about keep, getting uh, HIV, AIDS, syphilis, and all that stuff, right? No the Bible says if you lay down with a woman, you need to marry, right? You shouldn't be committed for fornication and adultery, right? So that's what we want our people to do. The problems that we have in our communities come from not keeping the command. Right. So that's that's what we're here for. We're going to see all the little that they told you, but they're what they're going to be. They gonna be. They but what's your point? You said you had a. What's the question? They took that out of the book of the dead and, and changed it into commandments. It's funny it's, how people say we take stuff out of the book of the dead, the book of the dead, but they can't read hieroglyphics. Right, right. right. Guess what? A white man you taught them how to read the hieroglyphics. Francis, right? Napoleon. That's it, right there. So how you gonna? You can't even read the walls. Can you read them? 
No, I'm not Egyptian. I'm not Egyptian. I'm not an Egyptian. I'm not an Egyptian. But you mean the white man word right there that he gave to you? No, black people wrote the Bible. Honestly. You don't even speak Arabic. You know everybody. But what's your, what's your, you know anything about everybody? That means you really don't know how to read if you go about those words literally. And sometimes it's hard for the teachers who want to teach because people want to battle with us. You got to put it harder, man. You see what I'm saying? Because when we wrote up out here, wasn't nobody on the corner to teach or nothing. Right? But we come out and teach and people want to battle. I want to battle. I want to come against you. You know what we do. I'm trying to explain yeah, to them how they need to get all the white men on here. That's the image of the people. Don't get it. 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 Don't get we started out with that. Hey, dude, he ran me. Me and my nigga right here. Keep going, man. I'm listening. Look, he ran with me. I tried to ask him some questions. He took all right. Because they know the truth. He don't believe I'm going. How do we run with the white man? We're right here. What's your question? What's your question? What are you saying? I'm trying to tell you. You God. He God. They God. We all God. The creator made us. Hey, the Bible says we are God. That's what you say. We are God. But are we God's now? Look, at this side. Is this how guys are supposed to live right now? I'm going to ask you a question. Is this how guys are supposed to live? Are this how guys are supposed to live like we live right now? Or are we not on the box? What you talking about? Give me Leviticus chapter 26. I live worse than this. What's your question? Hold on, Rick. I'm going to ask you. Hold on. All right, look. All right, now. You agree with everything in the Bible, say right? I agree with everything in the Bible. Okay. Why did your, your guy, okay, first of all, it's 4,200 guys being born to worldwide. Oh. How did y'all get so lucky and get the right one? Everybody else got everybody the wrong one. Everybody else got the wrong one. Oh, who was chosen? Okay, you were chosen. Everybody else said it was chosen, too. But anyway, who, said, who else said it was chosen? Every, 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 I never heard a white man say he was chosen. Yeah, exactly. Any religion you say, what other book? Even in the Quran, they say the Israelites are chosen. Right, right. The Quran would say we chosen. Right, right. The Quran would say we chosen. Even on the walls of the Egyptians, it shows us being the chosen people. Right, right. 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 But what you're saying is we can go into other books to show that the Israelites were chosen people. But what's the question? It's hard to ask that question. You got your boy. Your boy just keep going. What's the question? So you agree with you agree with your guy? Killing 42 children, sending two bears to kill 42 children because he called a man bald here. You agree with that? Yeah. You agree? Yeah. Like, y'all gonna listen? I'm listening. All right. I Give me Deuteronomy right. chapter 28. It's already right. verse 15. Bring it up. Let's find out. What you wanna hear? What I gotta say? You wanna hear what I gotta say? I'm, I'm just 39 years old. I'm a speck of dust on this earth. This Bible was for before me or you on this earth. Right? Okay, so right. Listen, hold on now. Let, let him talk. You wanna hear what? I, you wanna hear my opinion? Go ahead. Or you wanna hear what I believe in? Go ahead. Right. So read that. Deuteronomy 28 verse 15. I'm gonna ask you questions. Right. We gonna go interact with this brother right here. This brother said like, hey, good bro. What's your name? Jamal, Jamal, you think? All right, read that. The book of Deuteronomy, chapter 28, verse 15. Bring it on! Moses is talking to the, to the Israelites, right? He about to read to them what God told him to say. Read. But it shall come to pass, if thou wilt not hearken unto the voice of the Lord thy God. It says, if you don't listen to God, read. To observe to do all his commandments and his statutes, which are commanding this day, that all these curses shall come upon thee and overtake thee. Now he said, he told the Israelites, if you don't listen, curses gonna come upon you. Now I'm gonna ask you a question about the so-called blacks in America. Are we a blessed people as a whole, or do you think we're a cursed people? I'm asking you. As a, I said we are blessed people. As a whole, as we a blessed. Whole. Even though that we have our downfall, no, no, wait, no, 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 no,
Okay, all right. Because we are black. Now, what you just said, man. Now, now, who run Africa? We follow each other. Uh, white people. White people right. do right now. Now, now, listen to what you just said. You said we can go to anywhere on the world and we can survive under the rule of our oppressors. I heard you. Is that a blessing? Now, listen. But that's what we rule. But we not rule. We spirit. All we rule. spirit. All we rule. I ain't going to say nobody. I just got out of the group. We just went to all these different countries, right? It's all run by the white man, all run by the Asians, and all run by the Arabs. Right. But 90% of these places is black people in these places. Right? We go, matter of fact, we're going to Nigeria next month. We just got back from We just come on now. We just got back from Sierra Leone. Right? I I, 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 what, what, I, I listen to him. I grew up in the Christian. I listen to him. I'm talking to his brother right here. Let me finish with him right here. So you saying this ain't but this ain't no Christian church. So, so I, I, I understand y'all. But, but, but listen to me. You just said we blessed because we can go anywhere on earth. You can't leave America without permission. So, was that a blessing or a curse? But what if I teach you? So that's a, so that's a curse, right? In our homeland, right, what we would call Africa, we don't control the resources, right? We don't control the land, right? We can't freely come in and go out, right? Is that a curse or a blessing? That's a curse. Here in America, right? Who fills the prison system? All right, is that a blessing or a curse? Now I understand that if we go and have sex with a with an Asian woman, it's gonna be a black person come out of that, right? But guess what? That black person is gonna be what under those same curses, right? Right. Now watch it. Now watch it. Watch. In the spirit, in the spirit, the Lord is still blessed. Like you say, we were from the Most High, right? Yes. We are the images of the of yes. real God, right? Yes. So we are blessed. No matter what these white folks want to curse us, we're blessed. We're blessed. Yeah. Spiritually, we're the only people that have a God, right? So when we do what our God commands us to do, we are blessed. Read verse 1. Watch, I'm going to show you something. Read verse 1. The book of Deuteronomy, chapter 28, verse 1. Bring it up. It shall come to pass, if thou shalt hearken diligently unto the voice of the Lord thy God, to observe and to do all his commandments, which I command thee this day, that the Lord thy God will set thee on high above all nations of the earth. And all these blessings shall come upon thee and overtake thee, if thou shalt hearken unto the voice of the Lord thy God. So our God told us, if we do what he tell us to do, we're going to rule over all the nations on the earth. Right. Now, do we do that right now? Do we rule? No, we don't. We are on the bottom when it comes to rulership on this earth. Right? What, what y'all teaching, right? You just said, you said, but that was after you asked about the white man. That's the first thing you said when you rolled up, right? So we teaching our people to keep the commandments of God. Right. That's what Jesus taught, right? Give me Matthew chapter 19, verse 16. Bring it up. Bring it up. Because Christ, how do you make it into the kingdom? You say it's the last days, right? So you believe in the heaven. Oh, sorry. Yeah. Let's see, let's see if that's what the Bible says. Let's see if the Bible says that. Read that. The book of Matthew, chapter 19, verse 16. Bring it up. Behold, what came and said unto him, good master, what good thing shall I do? that I may have eternal life. So we're talking about eternal life, right? Read. And he said unto him, Why callest thou me good? There is none good but one. That is God. But if thou wilt enter into life, keep the commandments. So Christ said to get to the kingdom, you got to keep the commandments. Right. That's what you got to do. It didn't say, to get, it didn't say believe on me. It said keep the commandments. All of them. Every commandment that doesn't have to do with sacrifice. So every any all the commandments in the Bible, but that don't have to do with sacrifice. This, 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 uh, you know when Jesus, when God, when uh, when the children of Israel like, were in the uh, desert, right? And God gave them all the commandments. Exactly. God, God was showing that it's impossible for you to keep all the commandments. What scripture say this? Uh, it's in a word. I promise. It's not in there. I promise. Well, it is impossible. But let, let me ask you a question. Why is that impossible? Because 
That's not true. You tell me God is not the only one that's, that's not that's not what the Bible says. God is not the only give me uh start off, give me give me Job. Bring it out. Let's see, out. see who else is broken. Let's that's see, right. you learned Job was not perfect. Let's see what the Bible says. Hey, whoa, 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 whoa. No, let's no. see what the Bible says. You yeah, believe in the Bible, read. right? Let's see what the Bible says. Read that. The book of Job, chapter 1, verse 1. There was a man in the land of us. You're listening, right? All right, read. Whose name was Job. So we're talking about Job, right? And that man was perfect. Wait, 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 wait. Hold up. Bring it out. Let's read this one more time. Because I want to make sure people hear it. Because in church, right, we was taught that it was only one perfect man. Right? That's what we was taught, right? Right? Now, you know that church religion it's that religion that we got off the slave ships, right? right. That right. was taught to us by the white man, right? Right. Whoever, whatever last name you got, right? Well, we wasn't here before. Say so some of us were here before. Okay, okay. Not all of us. Some of us were here before. That same religion that is only one person perfect was taught to us by Master Charles in Virginia, right? Master Caleb, Master Johnson, Master William, right? When they, when you white, you ever seen twelve years of slave, right? What he, what he had the preacher do? He made them sit in there and say, teach this, don't teach that. Right? That's the religion that all our brothers and sisters are caught up in right now in the Christian church. Right. But they got that big old image of the white man with the blonde hair. Look, wait a minute. Matter, matter of fact, it's, where is that? Can you finish that passage? Oh, real quick. Matter of fact, these images right here. If we bring all the kids out here right now and say, who is this? They're going to say Jesus. Right? Right? Okay. Let's finish. Read it again. There was a man in the land of us whose name was Job, and the man was perfect and upright and one that feared God and eschewed evil. And he hated evil. So was Job perfect? Read it again. Read it again. I want you to hear it. I want you to hear what it says. Read, read it again. There was a man in the land of us whose name was Job, and that man was perfect and upright. And one that feared God. So was Job perfect? No. All right. Read it one more time. One more time for the brother. I don't want you to read. I don't want you to understand what I'm saying because I didn't write this. I want to read what the Bible says. Read that again. There was a man in the land of us whose name was Job, and the and that man was perfect. And Job was what? Was perfect. Job was what? was perfect and upright and one that feared God Go and eschewed evil. So was Job perfect? No. Why not? Oh. Because Joseph was a man. I said Job. Job, because he was a man. So what does it say, being a man, you can't be perfect? Being a man is perfect. This is the reason why he I'm just saying, Now listen to what you, now, let me ask you. Let me I'm going I'm to, now listen to what you tell him. Let me ask you. Let me you ask you. said let me you want to know what we all here doing. You say you believe in Jesus, right? Right. Now you know Christ came in the volume of this whole book, right? Right. So when we read about the book of Job, we read in the spirit of Christ, right? And you believe in Jesus Christ, right? You follow him. You say we spoke. That's how we gonna make it into the kingdom. He's the way. He the door, right? So when I read a book, right, in the Holy Bible about Job, that says Job was perfect, you say. That ain't true. Why? The reason why I say it's not. I'm gonna give you something before I tell you this. Well, no, now, I wanna, in the, uh, home, yeah, tell me. You remember in, in, uh, in uh, Genesis when it was called Noah, Noah was righteous. Yeah. You know, he was righteous, but Joseph was uh, but Noah was also a drunk. You gotta understand this. I get what the Bible says. Joel was perfect for as he did his sacrifice, because that was the only thing that would keep him perfect. Job is not God. That's why you think God said, why you call me so there's no one good but God? Job is not God. So in, uh, I get what you're saying. It's Jesus God. Jesus is God. Jesus is the most high God. So he prayed to himself. He prayed to the Father. So Jesus ain't the Father. No, no, he's not the Father. Okay, so can Jesus be perfect? Did you come from God? I did. So, okay, now listen to what you're saying. But I you do, Watch this, you're doing this. Was Jesus born of a woman? But it wasn't her I blood. I asked you a question. It wasn't her blood. He was Jesus blood. born of a woman? Yeah, but he didn't have Yeah, he was. Now, nah, he, he got his father's blood. Now, huh? now nah, nah, listen to what you just said. So, Jesus and God, is he the same person or is he not the same person? 
The same person. Okay. Hold on one second. Hold on one second. I want to deal with that. Give me on the book of Acts, uh, chapter, I think it's 7 is what I want. I think verse 55. Yeah, we're starting verse 50, uh, 54. Read that. Verse 56. Read that. The book of Acts, chapter 7, verse 56. 55. But he, being full of the Holy Ghost. Let's talk about Stephen. This is when Stephen was getting stoned, right? For teaching the word. Ain't it crazy how when you come out and teach the real word, people hate you? It's crazy, huh? It's got to let you know something. that Because I ain't never heard about a pastor teaching and they want to fight the pastor. And people standing up going like, who is this white picture right here? I ain't never heard that before. But we just got out here. And it's like all out war. Bam. Right? Now read that. But he, being full of the Holy Ghost, looked up steadfastly into heaven and saw the glory of God and Jesus standing on the right hand of God. Can you explain that for me? Because Stephen looked up into heaven and he saw the most high God and then he saw Jesus standing on the right hand side of God. Now make sense of that for me. So they're not the same person. They are the same person. So how did he see two people, but they're the, the same person? Because Jesus is the begotten. He comes from God. Okay. Just like, just like your son comes from you. Yeah, but you can see my son and you can see me. But they, is my son me? You need a woman. Is, is my son the same person? You got a... I'm asking you a question. Hey, Listen to what you're saying. He said he made you in his image and his likeness. That means he made you just like you on this ground. So if everybody's just like God, then why we ain't got no motherfucking power? Huh? No, we got no power. Somebody stole that knowledge. Okay, well, let's see what uh, let's see what Christ said about us being perfect. Read that real quick. Matthew chapter five, verse four. Let's see what the Bible say about that, right? Because I'm just a man, right? And you just a man. So when you when I say I, we can be perfect. Right now, I'm speaking according to what the Bible says. Now you saying we can't be perfect, right? Because Christ is letting us know that He's the only person that can be perfect, right? That's what you say. Now let's see what Christ commands us to do. Read the book of Matthew, chapter five, verse forty-eight. No, be ye therefore perfect. Now listen, listen to what Christ just said. What he said. Read. Be ye therefore perfect. Read it again. Be ye therefore perfect. Now, brother, I'm asking you a question. Why would Jesus Christ command us to be perfect? Let's read it again. Read. Be ye therefore perfect, even as your Father which is in heaven is perfect. So he says, be perfect, just like the Most High God is perfect. Why would Christ say that? He says, be ye therefore perfect. You say, how to be perfect? Let's find out what the Bible says. Read it up. Read up. I won't read. The book of Psalms, chapter 19, verse 7. Read up. The law of the Lord is perfect. So what's perfect? The law of the Lord is perfect, converting the soul. Now it says the laws of God will convert your soul, right? Just like some of the brothers out here used to be murderers, right? They read the Bible. The Bible says, thou shalt not kill. Thou shalt not hate thy brother in thy heart, right? So they say, you know what? I'm going to stop killing. I'm going to stop hating my brother so I can be perfect, right? Just like, uh, let's see, let's go through some other laws. Just like, just like, yeah, that means there's going to be things that you're going to struggle with, right? Right? But that don't mean don't do it, right? It's just like this. Now watch this. Think about if a woman walked through right here, right? Super fine, right? Stripper body, right? She walked through here, falling no clothes on. A lot of the brothers, we're going to do this. We're going to look. Some brothers going to, some brothers going to be like, some brothers going to grab themselves. Some brothers going to run over there and try and get a phone number, right? Some of our brothers, we may look and we may get that thought in our mind, 
right? And it may take us. Some brothers may look and be like, man, let me turn my head around. Right. Some brothers, she may walk by, and then he may just ignore it. Just be like, brother, this what, don't worry about that sister over there. That's that. There's steps to this thing, right? But you have to be striving to keep the commandments. But what the, what Christianity teaches is, is that God hates the sinner, he don't hate the sin. No, God hates the sin, he don't hate the sinner. That's what the, that's what the Christianity teaches, right? But the Bible don't teach that. Right. The Bible don't, let's read it. Let's find out what it teaches. Uh, give me, um, what you got? Yeah, Psalms 5. Bring it out. Let's find out what the Bible says. You listening, bro? What's your name? Matt. Matt. All right, now I'm your den. All right, Matt. Uh, Psalms 5 and verse 5 and 6. Read that. The book of Psalms, chapter 5, verse 5. Bring it out. Matt. Matt. Listen. Listen to what the Bible say. Read. The foolish shall not stand in thy sight. Thou hatest all workers of iniquity. So look. So, so Matt, you learned in the church that it says God loves the sinner, hates the sin, right? Now I'm telling you, that's not biblical. Let's see what the Bible actually says. Read that. Bring it up. The book of Psalms, chapter 5, verse 5. Bring it the foolish shall not stand in thy sight. Thou hatest all workers of iniquity. It says God hates all workers of iniquity. That would mean a sinner. God hates sinners. Right? You said God hates I didn't say that. The, we read what the Bible says. Let's read it again. Read it. The foolish shall not stand in thy sight. Thou hatest all workers of iniquity. I get what, I get what you're saying. No, no, not what I'm saying. I get what the word is saying. So, so let me ask you a question. Before we, before we just jump over this thing, do you believe that God hates sinners? No. Well, give me that, Sarah. The reason why, if y'all mind, hold on, if y'all mind me saying, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, real quick. I mean, because it's good. You, I know you know Proverbs three: trust in the, trust in the Lord with all thy heart, and lean not into thy own understanding. Right? So you about to give me your own understanding? Well, real, real quick, read this. One more, one more scripture. Read the book of Sarah, chapter twelve, verse six. For the Most High hateth sinners. Does God hates sinners. Uh, well, no, 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 no. Uh, this guy has said it. What we just read? Read it again. For the most high hated sinners. Now nah, let me ask you again. This guy hates sinners. Read. For the most high hated sinners and will repay vengeance unto the ungodly. So the Bible says that he hates sinners. But you, Mr. Mack, says that ain't true. You say you We used to scream black power. While Heron was pushed, but at the end of the day, nothing's in vain. IUIC has been given a vision. The tents of Judah has risen. Many has attempted the mission. Minor murmuring, omitting, and missing the mark. Just reading that he had the flame of fire in his eyes gave us the spark. We on Paul's mission. We out on the road. Purple and gold from Mexico, Cuba, Haiti, Ghana, Sierra Leone. 144,000 boots banging, concrete crackling. These are how our men repented at heart. The scriptures is proof. IUIC, we deliver the truth.